system broken, the schools closed, the prisons open. We ain't got nothing to lose, motherfucker, we rolling. Huh? Motherfucker, we rolling. With some light-skinned girls and some Kelly Rollers. In this white man world, we the ones chosen. So good night, cool world, I see you in the morning. Huh? I see you in the morning. But, apart from the language, culture, border checks, we're all in this together. Hey everybody, it's me, your good friend, the Obama supporter. Thanks for the snow. Yeah. There's no snow. Because I, I poured it over half, or it's in there, and now I got one and a half. Okay, Ross, what is that? Death of a Corvette. <laughs> <laughs> oh. The elixir? That number nine? Oh. That's government That's issue. That's good. We Some people have a deep, abiding respect for the natural beauty that was once this country. Hey everybody, it's me, your good friend, the Obama sport. And some people don't. People stop pollution. People can stop it. In 1915, the money power of the country was taken away from the people. By constitutional privilege, it belongs with the Congress, but it was given up in the Federal Reserve Act. The Federal Reserve is no more federal than Federal Express, but yet it has the power to determine the direction of use of money in our economy. If we could take that power back and put the Federal Reserve under Treasury, we start to be in a position of being of able being to control, control monetary, monetary policy, policy on behalf of the United, United States, States people. Thing about you know if there's another trouble spot and this is one of the uh, the things you know like we're we're we're, at, we're thinly we're spread out very thinly you know of course North Korea makes a move this or that or whatever but we create these trouble spots this is our game we arm people to the teeth right. and then we go bomb them and sell them new armament again and build their cities people like Halliburton and, and Union Carbide and all these the ownership class in this country this country is owned by eight or nine hundred people who run everything do everything control everything they have this guy Clinton gets in fine, we can deal with him. Kerry gets right. in, fine, we can deal with him. It's just in the wind. It's a little reed like this. It, it's all one big ownership class. And they, you know, it's just... You remove the danger and the pain of childbearing. Danger and pain are a part of life. You try and run from them, you're running from yourself. Can you fly that thing? Not yet. Operator. Tank, I need a pilot program for a B-212 helicopter. Mr. William K. Black, Associate Professor of Economics and Law, University of Missouri, Kansas City School of Law. Mr. Black. Committee, thank you. Uh, you asked earlier for a stern regulator. You have one now in front of you. Uh, and we need to be blunt. And you haven't heard much bluntness in hours of testimony. We stopped a non-prime crisis before it became a crisis in 1991 by supervisory actions. We did it so effectively that people have forgotten it even existed, even though it caused several hundred million dollars in losses, but none to the taxpayers. We did it by preemptive litigation and uh, by supervision. We broke a raging epidemic 
of accounting control fraud without new legislation in the period 1984 through 1986. Legislation would have been helpful. We sought legislation, but we didn't get it. And we were able to stop that because we didn't simply continue business as usual. Government destroys jobs, the market creates jobs, so the government isn't going to be expected to create the jobs. They have to change the environment. But you can't do that unless you understand where the depression recessions come from, and you can't understand that unless you know where the bubbles come from. I've been arguing this case for 20 years and warning about bubbles and housing bubbles and NASDAQ bubbles, and a lot of other economists have been doing the same thing. And until we understand that, you can't solve the problem. You have to deal with the Federal Reserve System. You have to deal with free markets and you have to deal with the tax program and the regulatory system then you can get your jobs because the people will create the jobs not the government our national debt up five trillion dollars call me crazy one more time our national debt up five trillion dollars. And I think that Goldman has very shrewdly positioned themselves with the Democrats because the Democrats typically, like many NGOs that I've run into, they seem to have a, a complete inability to comprehend these issues of markets and finance and how it relates to social justice. I love it. Like sharks on a tuna, folks with empty gas tanks descended on this raceway gas station. I just know that we just got busy, honestly. Word spread quickly that premium gas here was 27 cents a gallon. Yeehaw! I had a quarter of a tank and I got 16.11 gallons of gas. For $4.50. $4.50. I'm in my monthly gear. We got 42 gallons. For how much? For $7.22. Like a scene out of the 1970s, cars began to line up. Phone calls and text messages brought more and more people. I just looked down the street and I saw this commotion and, I mean, I saw the cops and everything. And I was like, what's going on, dude? And they were like, 27 cents. I was like, what? Pull up a little bit. Pull up a little bit. It got so chaotic, Fort Worth police were called in for traffic control. Ah! Pull up. No, you're not pulling in. G. Smith couldn't drive in, so he brought as many portable tanks as he could find. It's a deal again. Look at the corner of the can of coffee. With oil prices soaring and fuel protests spreading across the globe, it almost sounds too good to be true. A car that runs on nothing but water. And all kinds of water will do. River, rain or sea, they all make this car mobile. Even tea works. Japanese company Gene Packs unveiled the eco-friendly vehicle in Osaka. Once water is poured into the car's tank, an energy generator takes hydrogen from the water, releasing electrons that power the car. The main characteristic of this car is that no external input is needed. The car will continue to run for as long as you have a bottle of water inside for you to add from time to time. According to Gene Packs, a litre of water will keep the car running at a speed of 80 kilometres for around an hour. The company hopes to go into mass production with a Japanese manufacturer. With car users around the world looking for alternative fuels to power their vehicles, Gene Packs may well have the solution they've been looking for. Shokalala Kuri, Reuters. So one of the Democrats, we also saw the repeal of Glass-Steagall. Glass-Steagall said there's an inherent conflict of interest between the commercial banking side, which is the lending side, and the investment banking side, which is taking an ownership position. And we have to end this conflict of interest by separating these two entities. You can have investment banks and you can have commercial banks, but they have to be separate. Do you think that the repeal of Glass-Steagall was a tragic mistake? Uh, no, I don't think so. Oh. 
The First Amendment is the source of the five most important civil rights guarantees. Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman. Um, Inspector Coleman, you're the Inspector General for the Federal Reserve, right? Okay. That's correct. Have you done any investigations concerning the Federal Reserve's role in deciding not to save Lehman Brothers, which led to shockwaves and went through the entire financial system? Um, in that particular area, you know, I don't generally comment on specific investigations, but we do not currently have an investigation in that particular area. Thanks for the call. Jim Hines, one of our regular viewers, saying, Hey, America, if you want to get it with the viable plans and does not flip-flop, you will support and vote for Mitt Romney. Two headlines from the Washington Examiner first. Well, I understand that, but we're talking about events that started unfolding eight months ago. Have you reached any conclusions about the Fed expanding its balance sheet by over a trillion dollars since last September? We have not yet reached any conclusions. Do you know who received that money? for the, we're, we're in the process right now of, of doing our review and um, Right, but you're the Inspector General. My, answer, my question to you specifically is, do you know who received that $1 trillion plus that the Fed extended and put on its balance sheets this last September? Do you know the identity of the recipients? I do not know. We have not looked at that specific area. So, my fellow Americans, ask not what your country can do for you. Because you'll only be wasting your breath. Today, the Republic is nothing but a growing fascist police state, dressed deceptively in a gown of democracy, merely to titillate, loot, and enslave you. A gown generously provided by this show's sponsor, Benito Armani. Tell it a world dictator since 1931. Benito Armani fashions available at fine FEMA camps everywhere. If you don't know where they are, no worries. Very soon, they'll find you. At Thornton Gifts, we believe speed is essential. I guess the test will tell. What about um, Bloomberg's report that there are trillions of dollars in off-balance sheets transactions that the Federal Reserve has entered into since last September? Are you familiar with those off-balance sheet transactions? I guess the test will tell. Nevertheless, in our lending facilities project, for example, we are looking at the, the board's oversight over the program and uh, to the extent that extends out to the Federal Reserve Bank of New York. Well, I have a copy of the Inspector General Act here in front of me, and it says, among other things, that it's your responsibility to conduct and supervise audits and investigations relating to the programs and operations of your agency. That's correct. So I'm asking you if your agency has, in fact, according to Bloomberg, extended $9 trillion in credit, which, by the way, works out to $30,000 for every single man, woman, and child in this country. I'd like to know, if you're not responsible for investigating that, who is? Do you like your voice? Do I like my voice? We actually, we have responsibility for the Federal Reserve's programs and operations, audits, to conduct audits and investigations in that area. Our national debt up $5 trillion. One problem is that the language that people use when they're trying to describe their inventions is not the language that I as a scientist am used to, and so I have to translate it, if you like, into a way that I can begin to understand what they're trying to say. Um, in terms of who's responsible for investigating, would you mind repeating the question one more time? Now total $9 trillion in the last eight months. I'll have to look specifically at that Bloomberg article. I, I'm not, I, I don't know if I have actually seen that particular one. That's not the point. We're still in the process of conducting that review. Until we actually, you know, go out and, and gather the information, I'm not in a position to really respond to, to the specific question. Do you like your voice? Do I like my voice? Um, oh, I'll be completely honest. I think my voice is okay. I like the feeling that I get when I sing. I would love to have a voice like Christina. Yes, words can bring me down. Oh. I would love to have a voice like, um, 
Whitney Houston. In the zone is probably the one song that really states where I'm at. Doing what I love to do and dancing. Being in the zone. You tell them, Brittany.